It was now summer, and the investors were about to give up. But Colonel Drake had the idea of using a pipe as they drilled. I says to Mr. Drake, look there. What do you think of this? He looked down on the pipe and said, what's that? And I said, that is your fortune. of peak oil. First and foremost is the rapid quantity and quality of oil reserves. Saudi Arabia hasn't had its reserves verified in decades. It's certain that something is amiss. Most of the exports from Saudi Arabia have deteriorated to a vastly lower quality of oil. Crude is actually a blend of many hydrocarbons. The most valuable portion of a barrel is jet fuel, which is also known as kerosene. Next is gasoline, followed by diesel. Crude oil also can be referred to as either sweet or sour. The level of sweetness is dependent on the amount of sulfur found in the oil. The less sulfur, the better. Oil is also classified as light or heavy. Light refers to the proportion of the higher valued liquids such as kerosene, gasoline, and diesel. Sour oil is filled with large amounts of residual fuel oil and tar. Resid, as it's known in the trade, is used on marine vessels because it's known to be highly pollutive. Tar is known for its use in paving roads. Saudi Arabia once exported light sweet crude, but now exports heavy sour crude. So clearly the good stuff is going. Venezuela, another very large exporter, also exports heavy sour crude. But even the worst quality crudes can be converted into more valuable products through refineries which have crackers. No, I don't mean graham crackers. Crackers actually split the molecules, thereby allowing the transformation from heavy to light. The longer the molecule, the heavier the product. But cracking is expensive, and the number of refineries with the technology is falling behind the deterioration in crude on the market. Only a few countries, such as Russia, are producing increasing quantities of light sweet crude, while most countries are on the decline in quantity and quality. Marco's take? Peak oil is coming faster and becoming more dangerous at a rapidly accelerating rate. If we've only produced about 50 billion barrels in 100 years, and if we have 100 billion barrels still to go, which is twice that amount, how when will there first when there, how long will it be before there's an oil shortage? The U.S. will hit the peak of oil production in about 10 or 15 years from that date. Thanks for watching. Not one in 50, not one in 100 of the people in our country have any inkling of the potential problem that we're, that we're facing. So we enter an entirely new, new world of, of quite unbelievable dimensions, and yet it's only a few years away. Thank you.